Oh, mate, are you alright? My best of headshots from 2019 was my most popular and controversial video to date. Clocking up over 60 million views on YouTube and Facebook combined, the world saw five headshots so brutal that some fields in the UK, under pressure from their local airsoft justice warriors, took it upon themselves to ban me from their events in the wake of the video. Well, it's that time of year again, and I'm going to bring you some of the most epic gameplay moments from the last 12 months. Welcome to my best of 2020, where we're going to take a look at some of my favourite toys, my best stealth takedowns, the most exciting moments, as well as some of the craziest cheaters and most toxic trolls. But to kick things off, we'll go straight into what I know you all want to see. The subject that still divides the airsoft community and causes the woke, bearded, beta male activists to call for them to be outlawed. They are the holy grail of sniping, as controversial as they were last year, in no particular order, these are the best airsoft headshots I landed in 2020. Let me know in the comments which ones are your favourites. Headshots. We don't particularly like headshots. He's down. He's down. Mate, when you're hit in the face, that counts as a kill. Thank you. Right there. Oh really? Oh, no, of course, it's still a day. I got him! Oh, 
Oh dear, there's always one. Now, moving on from those lethal headshots, let's take a look at some of the most fun toys I've used this year to deliver all those hits. So I've brought along the latest airsoft weapon on the market, the Action Army Company AAP-01 machine pistol, which I've installed with a primary airsoft HPA adapter and fitted some prototype upgrade parts from Hadron Design. Not only is this an accurate and compact sidearm, but it also has an insane rate of fire to ensure I'll be able to cut through any foliage that gets between me and my opponents. Dead? Dead? Oh, yeah, Mate, really? <laughs> right, for this mission, I have brought along one of the most realistic airsoft guns on the market, an MP5 PTW sent to me by my friends at Swit Airsoft. As close to the real thing as you can get, I've equipped it with an insane unlimited ammo drum mag to be sure I have plenty of full auto firepower when I need it. In all my years of playing airsoft, I have seen some crazy loadouts, but this one is for sure one of the coolest. This airsoft crusader may not have been the most effective player on the field this day, but he led the line and took a lot of enemy fire. And as I expect plenty of CQB action, I brought along my preferred close range weapon, the Tokyo Marui HK45. And to give me the edge when clearing rooms, I have equipped myself with enough hand grenades to supply a small army. And for extra firepower, I have brought along an insane Mac 11 machine pistol, which has been sent to me by my friends at Swiss Airsoft, which should give me an edge at close range to complete this difficult mission against a heavily armed and experienced team. A pirate flintlock pistol sent to me by my friends at Swiss Airsoft. It's long, made of wood and shiny metal and is really quite slow to reload requiring BBs to be poured into it out of an antique leather pouch before being pushed into place with a realistic ramrod. But I know what you really want to know is, is it an effective sniper sidearm? Well let's find out.
But I'm expecting fierce opposition, so I've equipped myself with an M79 sawn-off grenade launcher, giving me an area effect weapon capable of hitting targets over 100 meters away. And if any enemies get close enough, I'm carrying high-powered frag grenades, which will be sure to clear out any dug-in opponents I come across today. For this mission, I have equipped myself with the brand new Novridge SSG-96 sniper rifle, which he has sent to me to test out. And as usual, I am wearing the Kicking Mustang concealment system, combining brown and green colours to blend in with the autumn foliage. Oh, I see them, I see them, I see them. Today, I've brought along something a little bit special. A Japanese sniper rifle from World War II, the Arasaka Type 97, made of full wood and metal and features a real steel bayonet. This is the most realistic World War II replica I've ever used. And just like the real thing, it is quiet and accurate, making it a formidable marksman's rifle. <sighs> Thankfully, cheaters are rare on the airsoft field, but there were a couple of noteworthy encounters in 2020, with cheating so blatant that you would be forgiven for thinking that these toxic game breakers had been faked for the camera. Not wanting to waste any more ammo on this cheetah and with clean shot radioing to me that he is already in position, I rely on the power of my KMCS ghillie suit to slip past the cheating sentry and head to the back door leading into the castle. What I didn't know at this point was that as Clean Shot is about to head to the same backdoor entrance that I had cleared, the enemy I had just taken out has decided to respawn himself straight back into the game and is about to unload his machine gun into an unsuspecting Clean Shot. <laughs> Really? But Glock doesn't hit that far. So. If those hit anything, I'll be impressed. Yes, got him. Oh mate, he flinched as well. Come on, dude. Which guy? That guy there. He fucking flinched. <laughs> that was funny. If those hit anything, I'll be impressed. Yes, got him. Give it out. 
Wait, is he happy? I think he's yellow, isn't he? No, there's four times I've hit him, there's four times! Five times! <laughs> Thank you! At last! And from toxic cheaters to my favourite method of eliminating enemy players from the game, I'm pretty sure I'm breaking a few social distancing rules here, but these are my favourite close range stealth takedowns. Who should I kill first? That guy? Him down there on the right, in black. Yes. You've got, you got that on uh, this time, is it? This is my regen point now, yep. Sorry boys, need to find another flag. Spawn point captured. Target hit! 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 My plan is to set up a hide and ambush any enemy patrols who may be looking for the same thing as we are. They get a shooting position in here. It should allow us to sneak around the enemy forces and get into the castle right in the heart of the enemy team's territory. I think they're on the roof. I'm confident I'll be invisible to the enemy despite standing upright with almost no cover right in front of their faces. Out of ammunition, but if I make any sudden movements in an effort to reload or draw my sidearm, I'm going to give my position away. It's time to rely on the power of the KMCS ghillie suit and wait for the enemy to pass before engaging them from behind.
with the enemy players bunched up closely and with my silenced MK23 pistol ready. I need to wait for the perfect opportunity to strike. They all need to be looking away from me so they don't see me move. There needs to be noise to cover the sound of my shots and they all need to be perfectly spaced out so that one carefully placed shot on each of them will wipe them out before they realise what has happened. And today I've equipped myself with the most realistic airsoft grenades on the market. The tagging AFG Sixers with their pin and spoon system. I'm able to prime the grenades and wedge them into doorways. When the doors are open, the prime grenade will explode and take out any unsuspecting enemies in the area. My plan is now to lure the police into the trap I have prepared. Trap activated, and with the enemy forces hot on my trail, I now need to ensure they know I'm alone and trapped in the Federal Reserve Building. If everything goes to plan, the overconfident law enforcement officers should stumble right into my booby trap kill funnel. So many great moments in the UK in 2020, but what I really missed doing this year was travelling abroad and when worldwide lockdown took place I had to cancel plans to attend events in the USA, Brazil, Russia and Taiwan. But I did get to travel to a couple of awesome locations abroad before the China cough brought the world to a standstill. And first up, let's take a look back at the Novridge SSG-10 launch event in Austria when I went head to head with a machine gun wielding juggernaut. You join me in Austria at the Standby Airsoft Park for a special event. It's the launch of the brand new Novridge SSG-10 sniper rifle and many of the top airsoft YouTubers from around the world are on the field. As I was focused on pushing the enemy team back into their bunker, an enemy sniper had managed to take control of the juggernaut and has sent it back onto our forward position. As Cleanshot distracts it by running away, I set up an ambush.
Coño. <laughs> Protect me, Juggernaut. Behind me. Juggernaut, this way. Juggernaut, this way. Up there. They're up there. There's two reds up there. What? Off, <laughs> taken out of the game by the mighty juggernaut, I head back to respawn with the Novridge SSG-10. Meanwhile, in the UK airsoft community, some fields are learning about the power of the KMCS ghillie suit and are starting to ban it. Yeah, it's true and understandable as nobody enjoys going up against players equipped with cloaking devices. Well, their hill is pretty crucial because they get it. Yeah, they're going to stop it. Kicking Mustang Concealment oh, no, System suit. Thank you. Yeah, really lightweight, Questions. breathable. Um, right, beam oh, and from Austria to Belgium, when I travelled with my good friend and former British Army rifleman, name's Nico, the two of us took on over 50 opponents and had one of the best S off kill streaks ever recorded. Pyro. Nico. Pull back here. Pull back here. Pyro. Whoa, whoa, watch out, watch out. Here, watch out, here. Here. Is that from behind as well? Outside. Team, Nico, pull back this way. Pyro. Nico!
Pyro! Bye bye, Tyro! Watch out, watch out! Cover me, cover me! Hit! I'm hit mate. I'm hit. Uh, finally eliminated. And with Nico out of ammo, he surrenders <laughs> and we head back to respawn. Thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. That was a slaughter. <laughs>